What was more boring, the game or the ads? That is a tough question. It it's is. One they, we'll were both they were both pretty boring. There, yeah. there was Why? Uh, what happened? You know, I think part of the advertising pre-release, um, the, the, the Internet and how everything blows up, people are scared to make any real edgy ads. They There's are. Some... I think that's it. I, I mean, we, I was watching about 20 people for the first half. And, yeah. you know, you kind of look at, you know, you're waiting for the, the ad that's going to really blow you away. And after every ad, everyone kind of looked at each other like, eh. Yeah. I know. I think um, I like the ones from a business standpoint that are tied into a greater campaign as opposed to a one-off or a celebrity gratuitous ad, like some of them were last night. Bud Light, the one that you just showed, the good news there, it ties into their ingredients campaign. It was kind of funny. They're, not, they're taking a shot at somebody. I think Verizon did a nice job with the first responders, tying that into an overall campaign. Uh, but there was a lot of gratuitous use of celebrity and a lot of robots. I mean, Nobody more yeah. guilty of the gratuitous celebrity than Pepsi. Than Pepsi. Right? Than Pepsi. What are they? Well, you know, what are they they, trying they've for? always been tied into celebrity, if you think about it, from Michael Jackson all the way back. Um, but all they said was, we're okay. And they had celebrities say that they're okay. So I wasn't a fan of that one. Either. No, though, we're showing it now, the Steve Carell ad. I mean, I, I, I thought it was odd. It was almost like they're saying it's not embarrassing to order Pepsi, but that's hardly a ringing endorsement. At all. At all. They're Pepsi, not, we're not embarrassing. We're not embarrassing. Please, um, we're okay. They spent a lot of money to say that they're okay. You have $5 million per spot. That was a 60-second spot. Yeah. Plus production. And the Bud Light Game of Thrones tie-in, and if you're a Game of Thrones viewer, you know that the character that they were putting in there crushed the skull right. of a guy in Game of Thrones. Okay, yeah. so theoretically in, the game, in, the, in this ad, yeah. he crushed the skull of the Bud Light guy, which I thought was sort of an odd... It went from well, funny to, like... Weird. Weird. Yeah. And, Didn't and, work. Well, the good news is maybe the campaign's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the other like the, good like news... Like the Bud Light like Knight. The, the Bud Light Knight may be gone. He got fried by the dragons yeah. last night. The good news on After that After having one, his though, skull crushed. It, yeah. Well, at least it was tied into a cultural moment. There yeah. Are, there is, but you had to be a, a Game bit. of Thrones viewer to understand there's the reference. And there's a lot there's of those. Lot. I get it. There's a lot of them. The one I liked, and the only one that seemed Each to... There's two ads we're watching as, as a group that seemed to elicit a response. Yep. Uh, although Verizon was good because it had Anthony Lynn, that yeah. I'm a Chargers fan, so yeah. the coach was there, a very emotional moment. Yeah. The Google Translation ad, good. saw a couple eyes well yeah. up with the folks that I was with. And the Expensify ad, the drinking of the curdled milk. I, I thought the Expensify ad was great, and it was also part of a campaign for Expensify. They pre-released -re the video at 60 seconds as opposed to 30. It was funny. It was a good use of, uh, of celebrity. I also thought the Washington Post ad was good at the end of that the day. Was, that was, because you also had some, you know, some competitors some, who sort of came together. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, Expensify did what they're supposed to do. A small company yep. that is growing, that threw a lot of money at an ad, took a chance. They made a funny ad, drinking curdled milk, yeah. and now we're talking about them. That's exactly, exactly. what's supposed I'm like, who's Expensify? And I'm exactly. looking it up on I my know. phone. I know. That's what's all, supposed and, to and happen. And we all do expenses. So it ties in, and you're like, oh, wait a minute. This works. It was good use to celebrity. Who blew it? Who was the Rams oh, of the uh, ad world I, last I, night? I think the planners, Peanuts, and the, uh, just the, the amount of celebrities they had in there for what? Uh, I think that peanuts. one was Peanuts. Um, I wasn't wild about the Olay ad. I, I just didn't Which think Which one was that? that? It was the one where um, the uh, uh, mask and coming to kill the woman, and she said, That's right. I, oh, look, I don't I, even know. I look like a celebrity. I know. I know. It Maybe came I was in. getting my fourth hot dog at that time. <laughs> Well, the good news is the hot dogs were cheap in the stadium. Did you see that? They kept the prices at a dollar for hot dogs and beers under control. Yeah. So it was a great stadium experience. Atlanta did a great job hosting the game.